As school was winding down for the year, fifth graders from Clarksburg Elementary were treated to an outdoor education experience that sparked a lot of questions. Right, what is this? What is that? No idea. What is this? What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that? Exactly. Right, this is a bio blitz. A bio blitz is when citizens help the scientific world look at biodiversity. You want to look again? And they do it in one day or four or five hours or whatever they have, collect as many different organisms as they can and then identify them. And today we have scientists helping us do that um, to quantify the amount of biodiversity in our area. Did everybody get to see our snake, our friend? Yeah. Yeah. Our citizens today are from Clarksburg Elementary School. These are grade five students, so all of them are grade five. All of them will be coming in as middle schoolers next year and continuing to do a lot of environmental work. So we're very excited to have them today. This bio blitz was jointly sponsored by the county's public schools, Department of Environmental Protection, Parks Department, and the Audubon Naturalist Society. Each offered specialists to guide the children as they explored the different habitats. They visited a forest. So here, the trees rule the world and they'll dictate what kinds of bugs we find, what kind of wildlife is here, and what other kinds of plants are growing here. Get from grasshopper family. Whoa. It's still there. There we go. Awesome. A meadow. And this place is alive, alive. They don't know that you're not trying to eat them, okay? They think you might be trying to eat them. So they are down there hiding. And a street home to macro invertebrates. This is a Helgramite? It's, it's a Dobson fly larva. They turn into big insects with uh, really interesting crossing mouth parts. And they're a sign of a really healthy ecosystem. As well as invertebrates. Yeah, you can touch them. I love snakes. To coax out the bigger species, a fish shocker was used. So this is a yellow bullhead. Um, this is a species of catfish. They're pretty common. Uh, they're a... Uh, a, a bottom feeder and they clean up a lot of the detritus and dead things in the stream. And special technology helped expand the scope of the investigation. This is an infrared trail camera. Uh, this will sit here and trigger and just since yesterday this took 700 pictures in this spot right here alone. So if you guys want to add that to your list we had a turkey, a fox, white-tailed deer, and a raccoon. So those were all animals found right here uh, within the uh, the property. Wow. Council member Craig Rice enthusiastically joined in on the hunt. Expanding the classroom outside of our school walls uh, really opens their eyes to a lot of the conversations we have about protecting our environment, but now they see what they're actually protecting. Uh, it's really great to just hear the excitement uh, and the joy that comes out of these kids learning. We've already yeah, looked at some of the data. Probably, probably hundreds of observations here. <laughs> we are amazed at the amount of different organisms we're seeing, which means that our ecosystem looks very healthy. We're seeing a load of biodiversity, and the kids are so excited to be catching uh, and seeing all of these different organisms. This bio blitz resulted in the identification of 139 unique species, ranging from tiny insects to towering trees. The data collected was uploaded to an app called iNaturalist. So if you want to put it into iNaturalist, you can take a picture. An online social network open to anyone for sharing biodiversity information with other citizen scientists something these Clarksburg students are now prepared to continue on their own. We want them to walk away, uh, first of all, knowing that they have this application that is attached to the world now and they can go collect cool things out on their own in the summertime or on the weekends with their parents and add to that uh, bigger database. But also we want them excited to understand what, that the health of the ecosystem is very important and they have a piece in all of that of keeping it healthy. Good job. Good job, Krista. Good job, Krista. Okay. Ooh.